Hey everyone, Ken Surfs here. It's Wednesday. I know it's been a while. I've had a lot of relatives out, uh, a lot of uh, visitors uh, unable to get away to do a shave, at least on camera. So today I'm going to be trying out a couple of new items that I haven't tried before. And from the Evo line, E-V-O line of Omega, I've got an Evo synthetic brush. And I, I, I really like the uh, Italian colors there. So we're going to be trying this out for the first time, at least I am, for the first time with today's shave. And it's synthetic, so we're going to put this back in there. Oh, and I found another crystal skull at Home Goods, So I ended up getting one. Maybe I'll give it away in an upcoming giveaway when my uh, new Ken Surf brush is released. Maybe we'll give away a brush and a, a skull or something. But my wife found it yesterday for me, picked it up, so I have an extra now. So in case this one, this is the original, never got broken, never got broken. All right, today it's called Skin Food by Geo F. Trumper from London. And it, according to their website, it's great for a pre-shave and an aftershave. So I'm gonna be trying this on camera for the first time today. We'll see how it does. I'm growing the goatee out as you can see, but uh, I do have some growth and I need to get rid of this. I need to have a good shave today. All right, I'm gonna be, uh, oh, and that scent is sandalwood. So to match it, I'm gonna be using uh, sterling sandalwood. So we'll have a kind of a sandalwood shave today. I'm gonna to be using the Edwin Jagger 316 razor today, and I'm gonna be using a different blade. I don't think I've used this blade in here before, an Astra Green. We're gonna do an Astra Green. We'll load this up. It's kind of humid and gross out here. Uh, there's no wind. Got a little smog going out here on the coast. All the remnants from the 4th of July. I hope you guys had a those of you who celebrate, I, thought, I hope you had a good 4th of July. Here I am, a guy born in England. I'm celebrating the 4th of July. One of my favorite holidays as a kid. I loved getting those illegal firecrackers in Huntington Beach from Mexico. Black cats and thunder bombs and oh man, brings back a lot of memories. Especially if you were around in 1976 when it was the bicentennial, the 200th anniversary of the signing of the Declaration of Independence that year was just, oh, in, the, in the States, it was just flat out crazy. Were you guys around in 76? Do you remember that? All right, we've got that loaded up. Okay, let's get this started. All right, to wet the face a little. We'll try this out as a pre-shave and a post-shave. We'll see how it does. Got that good sandalwood scent. Okay, put a few drops in here. All right. Oh yeah. It's like the scent goes into overdrive when it hits your skin and some water. Very good. And I don't know if there's alcohol in this yet, so we, well, you can you can peek. I'll I'll keep it a secret. I want to see if uh. If I get a burn off of that Geo Trumper. All right. Man, this synthetic is, holds a lot of water. It's a thirsty one. And as usual, I just mix this right up in the uh, Sterling bowl. They're really good. You just mix it right out of the uh, container. And there's the sandalwood scent again. Yeah, see, I need a little, uh, I need a shave today, man. Halfway through the week, we're at lunchtime right now. I've got about half an hour. I've been multitasking. Doing my uh, shaves on a work day at lunchtime. All right. Somebody commented that the uh, Simpson brushes are made for going like this, not for doing circles, and that will keep your brush going a lot longer. The Omegas, I've never had any trouble with them, at least the Boar and the Badger. Uh, we'll see how the synthetic does. All right. 
I still got soap on my nose. Okay. Very smooth. I have not been taking care of my skin, my face. I have not been putting, you know, I, mine cracks and dries with this, this heat and everything. I probably should be putting some moisturizing aftershave on, and I haven't been. So you can see it's looking a little dry. Don't get me wrong, I like the splash aftershave, but uh, I don't think it does much to keeping your skin soft. <laughs> I'm keeping it from drying out, that's for sure. And no, it's not Movember, but I haven't had a goatee in a while. And there's a razor that I'm eyeing, and I want to see if it'll take off a goatee in the future. So we'll see how that goes. I'm setting it up. The goatee is going to be a prop for a future shave. Master Blades. And this razor did real good for me. And the aftershave, or the pre-shave, and the soap didn't hurt. Sandalwood. I was looking for my uh, Tobbs, uh, Taylor of Old Bond Street sandalwood, and uh, man, I cannot find it. But uh, luckily I have some sterling. A lot of you go, hey man, you're using menthol uh, shave soap and you're using sandalwood aftershave or something else it's not a match today it's a match see my wife helps me keep the shaved in clean and by doing that she just puts everything into a box and goes and stores it somewhere in the house so i have not found my sandalwood i found my grapefruit uh Tobbs, my favorite. Been getting a little sun. Yeah, 4th of July was great. We uh, Fireworks are legal in my city. They were legal all in the 80s or 70s. And then sometime in the late 80s, they made them illegal. You had to go watch, pay at the beach to watch a fireworks show. You know, the city was making money. But... A lot of these schools make money selling those fireworks, you know, the fundraisers. So uh, probably about five years ago in my city, the city council voted fireworks back in. The safe and sane, you still can't use the unsafe and insane. Actually, I was in Las Vegas. Just outside of Las Vegas, there's an, uh, an Indian, uh, I don't know if it's a reservation, but they sell fireworks. Uh, you just go through Vegas and you go a little bit outside. And I remember on one side it said safe and sane fireworks, and on the other side they had a sign that said unsafe and insane, where you get your mortars and your bottle rockets and your M80s. And so, uh, <laughs> oh, Nevada must have been crazy. All right. No complaints. And I'm not a fan of, the, I mean, those blades I use a lot. Uh, it's not my everyday blade, but man, it works good. So, you know, a lot of you are fans of the Astrid Ring. All right. Goatee's coming in slowly. or nicks. Very nice. I know there's some U.S. transplants in, uh, in Europe or in South America too. Central America, South America. Do you guys celebrate the 4th down there? I mean, in England, it must be <laughs> you're celebrating the 4th in England. Man. It's kind of... But you have November the 5th. Man, I love that with the bonfires in England. Okay, let's try some. Geo Trumpner. Trumper. Trumper. Okay. Well, if there is alcohol in there, it's at a low concentrate because I don't feel any burn, but I do feel like the soothing sensation. 
there we go. We got the bowl here. We're gonna clean out the, uh, the brush. I end up not doing that, and then my brushes end up looking like this. And that's a wolf whiskers brush. I really shouldn't do that. So, I'm trying on camera. Got it all clean. We will hang dry it right here. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Hope you have a great week. <sighs> Weekend's almost here. We're halfway. It's hump day, right? Wednesday. So uh, we'll see you real soon. And uh, I've got some new items on the way uh, from Panta Ray in Italy. Uh, they have a new uh, soap that uh, solely his collaboration, not a collaboration with another soap company. And that is on the way for me to try. I can't wait. And uh, Victory Shaving, I have a package at the P.O. Box. I've got to go pick up. Uh, I think it's some more soap too. So we have some new items on the way. It's been a little slow, but good because uh, a lot of relatives have been out. All right, we'll see you real soon.